Back soon as I ditch the truck. Step on it. Come on, Porter. Come on, no funny work here. Welcome, my dear Mr. Cole. We are delighted to see you again. We're wasting time. Take Colter to the operating room. All right, take him up. Get over there. Get over there. Now back up. Back up! I wouldn't use that telephone. Drop that gun! My dear Moloch, you had better examine Mr. Coulter's head. It may need a new dressing. Dick Tracy. Seems your wish has come true. Dick Tracy is here to take Mr. Coulter's place. A marvelous opportunity. Take the great Dick Tracy to the operating room. Hey, what's the big idea? Come on down out of that buggy. Mike, looking back. Empty. Now you better start talking and talk fast. Where's Dick Tracy? Come on, where is he? We know Tracy was transferred from the ambulance to this car you're driving. Where'd you take him? I can't tell you. The spider will kill me if I talk. Yeah, you'll burn in the chair if you don't. All right. I hit him over there. That's the spider's headquarters. Mike, get the radio and tell Mr. Anderson we've located Dick Tracy to get a flying squad out here right away. The spider may try to escape on his wing. Is everything going all right, Mr. Anderson? Gosh, the spider ring sure pulled a fast one on us, Miss Gwen. We don't even know where Mr. Tracy is. Hey, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson, this is Mike McGurk, reporting for Mr. Lockwood. Go ahead, Mike. Mr. Lockwood says to rush a flying squad to the old Sierra powerhouse. The spider may try to escape in the wing. All right, Mike. They'll be there in no time. Get the ether ready and the cone. Would you increase the heat under that sterilizer, Gordon? Gordon. Gordon. Is that my brother, Gordon Tracy? So, the great Dick Tracy did not recognize his own brother. What have you done to change him so? It 
was really a simple little operation on the brain. Oh. And that's what you're planning to do to me? We planned it for Colton. But since you have taken his place... The ether! I see you have already administered the anesthetic, Moloch. Just enough to quiet him. <laughs> he was strangely upset when I told him he was about to undergo the same operation I performed on his brother Gordon. Then the great Dick Tracy has finally solved the mystery of his brother's disappearance. In a few minutes, his past will be blotted out just as Gordon was. Attention, Flying Squadron. Proceed immediately to the Sierra Pacific Power Plant. Like Dick's handkerchief. Well, then he's inside. Come on, let's bust in. in the confusion. Just 
got out of there in time. Yeah. Listen, Miter will think we've been killed by the explosion. We'll just hand him a little surprise. Heard by the others outside. You know me? It's your brother, Dick. Oh, oh Dent. Keep back. You haven't got me yet. Outside, Gordon. Gordon. Think. Try to remember. My dear Tracy, I am overwhelmed that you have solved the mystery of your brother's strange disappearance. And now, don't move. Outside, Gordon. Gordon, think. Try to remember. Spider, Junior. The spider? The spider? But he deliberately drove the car over the cliff to avoid hitting us. The spider wasn't driving the car. This is Gordon. You know who the spider is? Who? Mr. Odette. Mr. Odette? I know it all the time. I pretty near had my handcuffs on him, but he went and left in that car. There's Odette. I'll take care of him, old man. You look after your brother. Gordon! Gordon! Dick. How come you're here? What's the big idea? Don't you remember, Gordon? I remember... I was in a car... 
Then something happened. It was Gwen and Junior. They were right in the path of your car. Gwen? Junior? You drove your car over the cliff to save them. Don't you remember? It's all like a horrible nightmare, Dick. I can't seem to remember anything. Don't try. It's all over now and everything's going to be all right. Yes. I think I'm going places. The Department of Justice appreciates your great work in wiping out the spider ring, Dick. When you show up at the office, you'll find that that appreciation can take a very concrete form. Thanks, Clive. But forget the fuss and feathers. All the part of a G-man's job. Maybe so. But you better show up at the office just the same. All right, Chief. If you say so, I'll be there. <laughs> Goodbye, Dick. Goodbye. Oh, by the way, Steve, you better show up at the office, too. Right. Oh, Dick, I'm so happy for you. This looks like another promotion. Yeah. Where's Mike? We ought to let him in on this. Oh, he's in the laboratory trying some experiment. Mike, what happened? Oh, I was just experimenting with my new smoke screen, and I got it all right. I'll say you did, all over you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you move. Macklin, I want to talk to you. Ah, sit down. Get your gun in your holster. 